Hi everyone! Every delicious soup needs a good base and in this week's video we're making a simple chicken stock. Flavorful and light, the stock is made with just a few ingredients and is really simple to make. Next week I'll share a popular and delicious soup recipe using our homemade stock, so please stay to the end for a sneak peek. Here's what we need to make the stock. Chicken bones, salt, water, carrots, daikon radish, a sweet onion, a Fuji apple, rock sugar, and peppercorns. Let's use a vegetable peeler to remove the skin from the carrots and also the daikon radish. We cut the carrots in half and the radish into thirds. For the sweet onion, let's remove the skin and then quarter it. Let's cut the apple into four pieces and there's no need to remove the skin or core. These chicken bones are from my local Asian grocery store. As we can see, this is a whole chicken where all the meat has been removed. First, let's cut off any excess fat or skin. Too much skin or fat makes the stock really oily, so let's trim off as much as possible. Now as we're filling a large stock pot with hot water, add one tablespoon of salt. Add all of the chicken bones into the hot water. And then fill the pot again with hot water, almost to the top. Using tongs, swirl each of the chicken bones in the hot water for a few seconds. This helps loosen any bits stuck to the chicken bones and effectively rinses them. Now let the bones soak in the hot water for about five minutes. We remove the bones and then drain off the dirty water. We repeat the process of rinsing the chicken bones and soaking in hot water just one more time. Our technique for washing the chicken bones will help the stock to stay nice and clear. After the second rinse, we can place all the bones back in the stock pot. Transfer the pot to the stove and then we add water. Now set the heat to high and cover the pot. In about 20 minutes, the water should start to bubble. Let's gently rotate the chicken bones. For the next 20 minutes, we skim the foam from the top of the stock and discard. As we're doing this, we need to keep our eyes on the stock. As soon as it starts to boil, we need to turn the heat down to low. There are two key tricks for making a nice clear stock. First, we need to be diligent about skimming off the foam. Secondly, we must simmer rather than boil the stock as boiling makes the stock cloudy. After the stock has simmered for 20 minutes, we add the fruit and veggies. We also add the rock sugar, peppercorns, and salt. We cover the pot, leaving a slight opening, and then cook on low for one hour. Every 15 minutes or so, check the stock to make sure it's not boiling, and then skim off the foam. After simmering for one hour, turn off the heat and allow it to cook for another half an hour. We are all finished cooking, and now we can remove the vegetables and the chicken bones from the stock. So that the stock is nice and clear, we take cupfuls of the stock and pour it through a fine sieve. We now have a delicious homemade stock which we can enjoy as a simple soup or use in our recipes to make some really delicious soups. If we're not using the stock right away, we can store in containers and then freeze. So now the stock is ready for use at any time. Now that we have this delicious homemade stock, we're going to use it to make this very popular and tasty soup. It's coming up in next week's video, so please stay tuned. Hi, I hope you've enjoyed this easy how-to video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post below. For full recipes, check out runawayrice.com. I work on new recipes each week, so please subscribe to my channel to stay tuned. This is Trang wishing you good eating and good health. Thanks for watching.